All parties in the matter of DeMars versus Nakamura. Step forward. Joseph DeMars is suing bicyclist 20-year-old Jonathan Nakamura for running into his daughter's car. Mr. DeMars, you weren't in the car. Your daughter was driving, is that right? That's correct. Okay, so why don't you have a seat and let me have your daughter up here. Okay. Your name is? Emma. Emma, you and your father own this car together? That's correct. On what date were you driving the car? November 28, 2016. And you were driving down the middle of the road? I was driving on the right side of the road. That looks like it's in the middle, but I was, there's a middle um, drainage area and I was driving on the right side of that. About what time was this? Around 12.45 p.m. So daylight? Yes. And Mr. Nakamura, you were riding your bicycle? That is correct. And you were coming out of a side street? Yes. And your bicycle came into contact with the plaintiff's car? That is correct. And I read your answer. The plaintiff is suing for the damage to her car and her father's car. That is correct. And I read your answer. And I don't know what all the excuses are. You were going too fast, your view was obstructed by several things, and you collided with her car. Why would you think that that's her fault? Well, I had just come out of a right-hand turn. I saw that you were coming out of a right-hand turn. You said your right-hand turn that you were coming out of, you had an obstructed view because, according to your answer, because of a dumpster. Correct. And then, uh, so you couldn't see where you were going and you couldn't see what was coming. And then when you made the right-hand turn, there was another car that obstructed your view. I had done a right-left right right before I had made the right-hand turn, and I did not see any vehicles. I had made the right-hand turn, and about 10 feet after I had completed the right-hand turn, uh, I came into contact with Emma DeMars' car. Well, then you have to pay for the damage to her car. Why would you think that it's not your fault? You couldn't see where you were going. That was your problem. I could see with enough distance. Evidently not. Evidently not. You thought you could see with enough distance, but evidently not, because you had things obstructing your view. When you have things obstructing your view, if you're riding any kind of vehicle, you know what m most smart people would do? Stop. I can't see. Let me look to see what's coming. Let me see what happened to your car. This shows the damage as well as these photos. Mr. Nakamura, am I correct? You know, I read so many of these complaints. No, oh, it's a lot of damage. I read so many of these complaints. You did try to put this through your insurance. Correct. I offered my insurance information. Of course, you recognize that you were wrong, but your insurance refused to cover this because they said you weren't driving in your car. You were riding your bike. Correct. Okay. <laughs> so much. That's would actually make a good commercial. All right, can I see the estimates? Mr. Nakamura, I assume that you are a regular bike rider. Is that right? Yes. I just have a question. So many people are riding bikes these days. Do they have bicyclists insurance? Not to my knowledge. I just wonder. They should. It qualifies as a vehicle. Yes. Do you know, uh, sir? Stand well, up. Just we, my own curiosity. No, it would be under your homeowner policy. Okay. So. Got it. So you're just suing for the deductible. Your insurance covered all of the damage. Correct. With the exception of the deductible. You got it. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,000. We're done. Thank you. Thank you very much.